Georg Velkomenti Bolden. Welcome to Bolden, Sweden for the 2019 Snowcross World Championship and the Women's Snowcross World Cup. Let's take a look at this beautiful area. Now the town of Boden is situated in the northern part of Sweden, so Swedish Lapland really, and there are so many beautiful rivers, lakes, places like this that you can explore, tons of outdoor activities, dog sledding, skiing, and of course, snowcross. Now in the winter, it can get really cold, minus 20, minus 30 degrees, but it's that time of year that you can see the world famous Northern Lights. I talked about the beautiful lakes and rivers and this is one of them and this runs right through the town of Boden. It's the river Lula and now this is also one of the biggest ones in Sweden and it's stunning. Now I've shown you the area, I've shown you the town where we are holding the world championship of snowcross and let's get back to that. Let's take a look at the track and get ready for some racing. <laughs> with Jera Tinkonen and Vera Vitanen. Let's look at the GoPro track preview. So let's take a quick look around this Bowden circuit then. A relatively short start straight, but the first turn is quite quick. Sweeping right hands and then into the second part of the turn where it tightens up significantly. On the exit of the turn, the riders are into three giant rollers. And when they get the other side of here, dropping into turn two, you can see how the braking bumps will start to form over the course of the weekend. Exit turn two, and then this straight, around about 100 metres long, has a series of waves, eight, nine waves through there. They will get deeper as the day goes on. Finally, the riders arrive at turn three. Look how the berms build up to the outside. Look at the rollers through the middle. A short straight into a double jump. And then into another straight here, the, the waves are really starting to cut out here. This seems to run on forever, this part of the racetrack, a long sweeping left-hander. And then it suddenly straightens up. This will be the home straight through another series of waves and jumps into the finish line jump just here. And then when the riders land, again, the track really starting to cut out. Hard on the brakes, into this left. Another short straight, and then we hit the final turn. From here, a short straight over a series of jumps and bumps, the biggest one just here, and then the riders re-emerge across the end of the start straight. Now I can hear the engines behind me gearing up ready for this year's of racing, but let's take a look at what happened last year in 2018. First race and on board immediately with Susanna Lenstrom, number 48 on the links, who made a good start but dropped to eighth before she exited turn one. Melina Anderson, Elvira Lind and Marika Renheim set the pace inside the top three. But Anderson was in dominant mood as Renheim did her best to keep her in sight. However, the race was red flagged after Julian Moschel crashed on the finish line so Anderson was declared the winner for the first time in her career. In the men's category, Elias Ischuel with the whole shot, Martin Moland was second, Adam Renheim was third, followed by Nisa Kjellström. But on lap five, the lead changed hands as Renheim made a clean pass on Molen. And from there, it was Renheim all the way to the chequered flag. 
In the women's second final, Malin Anderson took her second hole shot of the day and led for a few laps, but a mistake from Anderson with four laps to go allowed Renheim to close in and pass her for the win, a result which earned Renheim the overall victory. Anderson claimed second, whilst Emilia Dahlgren took third. In the men's second final, Adam Renheim took the whole shot and was challenged by Aki Pilaka on the number two. The Finn was fifth in race one and was looking for redemption. And after a successful pass, looked as though he would sail to victory. Renheim was always a threat though, but despite another late challenge to take the lead, it was Pilaka who crossed the line to win race two. However, Renheim's second position was enough for him to clinch his fifth World Cup victory by six points from Pilaka, with Nisi Kjellström taking third overall. wonderful town of Bowdoin. I'm joined by the mayor of the city, Klaus Nordmack. Now, it's just brilliant to have the world championship of snowcross here. What does it mean for the town and for yourself? Well, for Bowdoin, which is a town which has a long and strong tradition of snowcross, it means a lot to the world championships here. At least not this year when Bowdoin turns 100 years. So I'm really hoping that there will be good competitions and be a lot of people and let's make it a celebration for snowcross. We know it's not easy building any track, but a snowcross track especially. But today, join with me, Emil Herman. Now, Emil, you are a previous champion. So if anyone's going to know how to build a track, it's going to be you. <laughs> I hope so. It's up to me now. Uh, I had a good crew that uh, brought in 15,000 cubic meters of snow. And so I have a lot to play with. Uh, unfortunately, it's been a little bit cold this night, so the surface is really stiff. But uh, as you can see, I'm trying to break through it. And hopefully in an hour or so, it's going to be above zero and uh, the sun will do the trick. So it's going to be a nice and nice track for the riders. Now, obviously, you build the track on a Wednesday, Thursday, and then the race is on Saturday. So the weather between that time is, is quite important. Yes, it is. And uh, you can always hope for, for some warm weather, you know, 24 hours for the day, but uh, uh, now it's been a cold this night, so I'm, I'm trying to do the best of it. And uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. It's crazy, it's Sweden, it's snowcross, but we want some heat. It's all crazy here, but let's get ready for some racing. Thank you, Emil. excited actually. I didn't race the World Championship last year so I'm, I'm ready to, to go. You were just saying you weren't meant to race this year but it came back to you and you realized you had to. Yeah I've been racing in US the past three years and I didn't want to be there anymore so I decided to stay home and I didn't know if I were supposed to race or not but I got a sled and I did some practice and then I yeah, I wanna, then I did some, some races too. I want to win. Nothing else matters actually. I, I just want to win. I'm joined by Elvira Lund. Now, Elvira, you're not new to this, uh, but you're confident, it seems, you've won the Swedish Championship, but here in Bolden for, for another championship. How are you doing? I'm good. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, uh, hurt in my uh, shoulder. I mean, there's not much you can do with an injury apart from push through the pain. So do you think this weekend might be tough? Yeah, it's going to be a tough one. Um, so I have a tape and uh, I hope it's going to be uh, a good race. We wish you luck. Uh, we know you're going to be good this weekend. But on that note, let's get to race one for the Women's Snowcross Championship. <laughs> Start of women's final one then, and on board with Vera Vitanen. She qualified 13th. Matilda Jonsson, 23, just ahead of her here in yellow. 
on her ski do as the riders packed out the first turn. Alina Oman, though, led the way on her Polaris number 17. Malina Anderson on the 93 Arctic Tack was second, the rider from Norway. Conditions challenging, to say the least. The battle for third, though, between Wilma Johnson on the 21 on the Lynx and Fanny Wickstrom in fourth on her Lynx. But it was Oman who still led the way from Anderson, who was now starting to drop back. Tough circuit conditions, but for Oman, making it look so very easy, despite the fact she wasn't even going to line up this weekend. The home crowd really getting behind her as she covered the whole circuit with supreme confidence. A little further back, on board once again with Vera Vitanen, who pulled out of the race after four laps. Wilma Jonsson was running third, continued her battle with Fanny Wickstrom. It was so close, you could barely split them. Again, circuit conditions challenging, but on the final lap, Alina Oman, more than 10 seconds clear of her nearest rival, Melina Anderson, as she went into that final lap. It was as if the number 17 could do no wrong here this weekend. But it's okay winning race one, but can she do it again in race two? Of course, the second race deciding the overall snow cup. Elena Oman was the winner then from race one. Malena Anderson came home second. Fanny Wickstrom was third. Wilma Jonsson fourth. Ellen Backer was fifth. Start of Women's World Cup final number two, Alina Oman and Marlena Anderson battle for the lead immediately with Wilma Johnson right there in third, but she tips off the sled. And that is not a great place to fall. She finally picked herself up though and rejoined the race. But up front, it was Alina Oman once again who led the way. Just like she did in race one, bashing all the berms with supreme confidence. Elvira Lind here, number 11, struggling with her shoulder injury, put up a brave fight though. As she defended her position on the track. No one was getting near Alina Oman though, who continued to lead the way. Ellen Backer here, who was third. She was fifth in race one and was looking at a podium on her Polaris. Melina Anderson there in second position. And Elvira Lind eventually faded to 11th despite her efforts. Here she's passed by Matilda Norberg, who went on to finish in fourth place. It was a lonely day at the races, though, for Alina Ehrman. The number 17, leading every single lap of both races. And it wasn't long before she entered the final lap and she was in complete cruise mode. Matilda Jonsson eventually lost fifth position to Fanny Wickstrom. And Ellen Backer, she'll be pleased with that third place performance. Matilda Jonsson though, sixth, under pressure from Jenny Lundstrom on the 115 in seventh place. But Malena Anderson second, Ellen Backer there in third. Malena Anderson eventually breaking three on that number 93 machine for second place. Good job, well done for her. But it was Alina Ehrman, the number 17, who eventually crossed the line to win the final two, and she wins the World Cup title for the fourth time. Official confirmation then of the second race. Alina Ehrman, Malena Anderson, Ellen Backer, Matilda Norberg, and Fanny Wickstrom, your top five. The overall classification looks like this. No doubt about the winner. Ehrman, 50 points on the board. Anderson second, and Backer taking third.
Here's the women's podium then. Third overall, Ellen Backer. Second overall, Milena Anderson, but a very proud Alina Oman taking the top step of the trophy. Nice piece of silverware to add to her collection. Of course, winning the World Cup means she gets the gold plate as well. But more importantly, Alina Oman, as the winner of the World Cup, gets her FIM gold medal. Congratulations, there's four of those now in her collection. Elena Ullman taking the Women's Championship. Congratulations. You came in here not really expecting much because you weren't sure, but you ended up winning and it looked like an easy win. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, it was a good race. Two good finals and I'm super happy. We'll celebrate. Congratulations. Now it's a special weekend for everyone, but especially for Oscar England, because Oscar, it's your first time in the World Championship. So how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Uh, no, it just feels feels good. It does feel good. I can see here you're with your parents as well, uh, and you're from the middle of Sweden. You've driven up. So do you have a good vibe? Is it a good feeling here? Yeah, I have a good feeling. We we were here like two weeks ago, riding the Swedish Snowcross Championship went third, so it's it feels good. Well, we have another newcomer to the World Championship here in Sweden, Grady Johnson coming all the way from America to Europe for your first ever World Championship race. How are you doing? Good. Uh, it, awesome to be here, awesome country. Really big fan of Europe and Sweden. Uh, track is awesome. Pretty similar to uh, the States, except a little more technical, I'd say, in the back stretch. And yeah, I mean, it's fun being here. Luckily, I got hooked up with Crazy Lars, and uh, thanks to the Andersons, um, kind of had an issue right away to begin with with the sled, but we got to figure it out. We got to practice that. Everything's good now. But yeah, just stoked to be here. Perfect. Well, best of luck and look out for Grady Johnson. And on that note, let's get on the start line and watch the first race of the World Championship. The start of the men's final then. And on board here with Yeri Tinkinen on the 227. He qualified in 13th place. Interesting choice of line there though, Yeri, through that first corner. Oscar Norum though emerged through the first turn as the leader. Behind him, Adam Oman looking good inside the top five as well. But there was carnage on the opening lap involving Pa Vickman on the 165 and Martin Molan, number 75, who took third in the second final last year. Oscar Norum though, at the end of the first lap, going around that first turn crash and already into lap traffic. Adam Renheim, the five-time winner, into second and doing his best to chase down the leader, Nora. Edwin Hamburg, number eight, and Pa Wickman battling for a top 15 position here, but Hamburg would eventually lose that to both Wickman and Pieti Buhaka on the 168. On board here with Yeri Tinkinen chasing Matthias Hagedorken. Tinkinen would eventually make the pass for 13. Aki Pilaka on the 128. In third, having a lonely ride, but he was on target for an overall podium, at least on his links. Looking good as well in blue. Emil Haar, number 31, battled the tough conditions to an eventual in seventh place. Just wiping the goggles there. The roost, the wet snow from the rider in front of him, causing all kinds of visibility problems. Back with the leader though, and Oscar Norup. He led from the very first lap. He was just moments away from taking the win. The flag went out. Oscar Norum was your winner in the first final on his Polaris. From Adam Renheimer was second, Aki Pilaka was third, Adam Oman was fourth, and Magnus Rieten was fifth.
start of the men's second snowcross final. On board here with Eric Tinkin and Martin Mullen to his left, Adam Renheim to his right. But as we reach turn one, Noram bumps into Emil Ha, who moves into Pilaka. Ha hanging off his sled as Noram takes the early lead once again. Here is Tinkin and buried mid pack just behind Emil Ha, who's lucky to be in the race. Your race leader, though, Oscar Noram with Aki Pilaka on the 128 battling for the lead, knowing that Adam Renheim is never too far behind. And mid-pack here, Pieti Puhaka and Jerry Tinkanen behind Martin Molens. The 9.99 here of Magnus Rieten doing his best to hold up Emil Ha as they battled for a top three position. Oscar Norum though, looking on course for a double win. Will this year be his year? 21 of Adam Ehrman battling just outside the top five in six on his links, and Aki Pilaka in second, now coming under attack from Adam Renheim on the 3.11. Renheim passed Pilaka for second, and was looking towards Oscar Norum and a possible win. Adam Renheim all of a sudden finds himself in first place after a problem for Norum. Pilaka is now second, and Oscar Norum here is dropped to sixth. He will not be crowned world champion this year. And that has to be heartbreaking for Oscar Norum on the number 40 ski, looking around to see if there's anything else he could have done. But heartbreaking for him, Adam Renheim, though, your final two winner, and also wins the SNX World Championship for a sixth time. The race result, though, with Pilak a second, Hart, Reeton, and Omen, your top three. But the 2019 FIM Snowcross World Championship final classification looks like this. Adam Renheim for a sixth time, Pilak a second, Norm third. And time for the podium. Your top three, Oscar Norum, disappointed with how things turned out for him. Second overall, Aki Pilaka, but no doubt about it, then the winner this year, as he has done on five other occasions, Adam Renheim. He takes the silver trophy, he takes the gold plate, and of course, he will take another FIM gold medal to add to the five that he already has. It's been another fantastic season for Adam Renheim. Just one thing left to do, and that's celebrate with the guys on the podium. Georgia Lindsay was down there. She caught up with our overall winner just a few moments ago. Let's hear what Adam Renheim had to say about his performance here this weekend. Congratulations, Adam Renham, taking the win for the 2019 Snowcross World Championship. The track conditions were tough, but you managed to take the win. Yeah, it was really, really tough out there. I don't know what happened with the track, but it got really, really rough. And I usually good in it, uh, but uh, today it was like it was so rough to start. So I had a hard time finding my rhythm. But yeah, we made it happen, and and the win came the sixth of, of them. Congratulations, well done. What an amazing year here in Bolden, Sweden for the 2019 Snowcross World Championship. Guys, congratulations to all the winners and we'll see you next year. Bye-bye.